Hi, this is a video about the Haskell programming language, and in particular about a library called Servant. Servant is a library for defining REST APIs and for implementing both clients and servers. In this video, I will give an example of a trivial server, basically the simplest possible Servant server. And I will begin by creating a, a Cabal package from the command line using Cavalin. I want it to be an executable. And uh, for the initial dependencies, I'm going to depend on base, of course, on servant server, and also on warp. Warp is a web server library uh, which is used by servant. Okay, let's have a look at the cabal file that was generated for us. It's a simple cabal file uh, with an executable, a main module, and the initial dependencies that we specify. So let's let's begin programming. Uh, we begin by importing the servant module. Mm. Seems that uh, I need to restart the language server. I'm going to also import uh, the re reverse uh, function application operator because I use it a lot. OK. So in Servant, uh, API definitions are types. They are uh, defined at the type level. And the simplest API definition will be possible something like post that returns uh, no content at all. Okay, so now that, we, now that we have our API definition, we need to do to provide a server. And this can be done like this. So what is server here? It's a type family. A type family that takes the abstract definition of our API and gives back uh, the type, the actual type that the server must have. If we look at the, the type hole error here, it says that we need to provide a, a value of type handler no content. What is handler? It's uh, a monad a monad type, uh, which is uh, built on top of I.O. And no content is uh, uh, basically a unit type, which gives you no information. So the simplest possible server implementation will be something like this. We do nothing and return uh, a dummy value, a dummy result. So what's left? We need to run our server. Uh, first of all, we need to uh, transform our servant server, server into a warp application. Remember that uh, warp was the web server library uh, which is used uh, by servant. An application is its basic type, is the, the type of values that can be run by work. So we take our server value and we pass it to the serve function from servant, which as its uh, first parameter takes a proxy uh, specifying the, the, the API that we are actually serving. And uh, of course, our server is the second parameter, only that we are using reverse function application. Okay, the only thing that's left now is to, to actually run the application. This can be done by in 
passing it to the run function from work, which as its first argument takes the, the port number. Of course, we need to import it. OK. At this point, uh, we are ready to compile and run the, the server. If we from we if we open another terminal and perform a call, it will succeed. It didn't do anything, but it worked. So, imagine that uh, we wanted to add uh, another a uh, path fragment. To or uh, to our endpoint, something like counter can be done like this. We need to enable a few more extensions, uh, like data kinds. Data, can, data kinds allows us to have uh, strings at the type level and also type operators. This operator here is basically a path URL path separator. For seven. Okay, so we can compile and run again. If we try to use the the former URL, it won't work. But if we add the path fragment, not now it will work. And this is all for now. Bye.